I'm here at Explore and More of the Ralph C. Wilson Jr. Children's Museum. Today's story time is brought to you by Von Schoenick and King. We are reading The Perfect Birthday by Katie Hudson. Let's get ready. The Perfect Birthday Recipe. Beaver had always liked everything to be done properly. Every project he took on was done carefully, thoughtfully, and as Beaver saw it, perfectly. Beaver's birthday was the following day and his latest project had taken some time to plan. It would have a chocolate layer, a carrot layer, a strawberry layer, another chocolate layer, chocolate swirls, caramel layer, frosting, sprinkles, and lots and lots of candles. It would be the perfect birthday cake. Look at all that planning he's doing. It's incredible, said Tortoise the next day. It's ever so big, tweeted Bird. Will you have enough time to make it all by yourself? Of course not. We'll all help, offered Rob Rabbit brightly. Actually, I have a very specific recipe, started Beaver. Brilliant, interrupted Rabbit. It will be so much fun to do it together. And for your birthday too. But Beaver had planned his cake very carefully. What if his friends didn't read his recipe properly? As it turns out, Beaver was right to have concerns. On the recipe, two carrots looked like 200 carrots to Rabbit. Too many carrots, cried Beaver. Oops, said Rabbit. The carrot cake layer was ruined. Uh-oh. Squirrel could fetch ingredients faster than Beaver could read them out. However, she was too fast at getting them in the mixing bowl. Is that everything, Squirrel asked brightly. <clears throat> Grumbled Beaver. Splat. Uh-oh, Squirrel's making a mess. Tortoise worked carefully and slowly. Maybe a little too slowly. Tortoise! It's dripping everywhere, panicked Beaver. This will never do. Bird felt it was only right to add her family's secret ingredient to the chocolate layers. Ugh, what have you done, cried Beaver. The secret ingredient is marshmallows. What do you think the bird's adding to the recipe? Uh-oh. As the last candle was lit, Beaver's friends happily cheered their work. What a perfect cake for you, clapped Squirrel. It took all day, but it was worth it, said Rabbit. Happy birthday! Oh dear. And that was when Beaver snapped. This is the ugliest. Most disgusting cake I have ever seen, he yelled. None of you followed my very clear recipe. You used up all of my ingredients and it took you all day. I will have to start over again, alone. While his friends slept, Beaver worked his whiskers and he stirred. He balanced and he spread he twirled and he decorated until finally, there it was. His perfect birthday cake, perfectly baked, perfectly iced, and perfectly balanced. And yet, it was not perfect at all. He looked around the empty picnic blanket and sniffed away a sob. Then another, and another, 
and another sob until he couldn't stop. Oh, his poor friends couldn't sleep through all the sobbing. I missed my entire birthday trying to make everything perfect and nothing is perfect at all, Beaver said. My friends didn't even show up to my birthday party. Only because we were sleeping. It is the middle of the night, comforted Rabbit. Now come on, off to bed. Doesn't look like a waste though. It looks like a bunch of friends who come out at night are enjoying the cake. The following day, Beaver's friends threw him a party. The decorations were wonky. The lemonade was ooh, sour and the cake was stale with the odd pickled worm in it. Ew. It was not at all what Beaver had planned, but it was the best birthday he had ever had. It was in fact perfect. Happy birthday, Beaver. The end. Thank you so much for joining the story time today, friends. I hope you have a wonderful day.